Hello, hello! How are we all doing today? I hope you are all having a really great day. Welcome to my tiny little corner of the internet that I like to call Blissfully Brianna. This is my Sims 4 obsession YouTube channel where I post let's plays, builds, casts, and a variety of different challenges. If you are ever interested in more of a variety of games, you can check me out over on my Twitch over there and any of my other socials. You can keep up to date with what I am doing. I also just recently made a Simstagram so you can go follow me over on there. I am looking for more simmers and variety streamers to follow over on there so the more the merrier and if you're also interested in seeing what my brain thinks of at like 1 a.m. Be sure to check out my TikTok where I post some crazy gaming videos, clips from Twitch, and a Mortimer Goth thirst trap. You'll have to just check it out for yourself, guys. It's It was crazy. And I just wanted to quickly say thank you guys so much for all of the love that you've given me on my little return video. I really felt the love and support for coming back and I didn't feel as anxious anymore telling you guys like what I've been doing, why I've kind of like push YouTube to the side for those two months and what I plan to do moving forward. Like, I feel really, really good about it knowing that you guys are backing me up and you really just care about my well-being at the end of the day and you'll love whatever I put out. Like, I really, really appreciate all of your feedback and support. Like, it means a lot. Before I get carried away and start blabbering about other things that I don't need to blabber about, be sure that you have that subscribe button clicked and that bell notification turned on. This way you guys can always be notified as soon as my posts go live. I know I said in my previous video that I really wasn't sure when I was gonna upload videos, like I didn't have a set schedule yet, but I am thinking Saturdays 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But if you can't remember that off the top of your head, if you're anything like me and need to write everything down, don't waste any paper. Just click that bell notification button and YouTube will notify you as soon as my posts go live. Same thing with that subscription button. It really, really helps you guys keep up to date with any content that I post moving forward. Today's video is brought to you by a near and dear BFF of mine named Beth, or Bethel Simmer, as I'm sure majority of you guys know. She is a well-known Sims builder. I love her to death. And she has a shell challenge. And I, I love a challenge. I've told you guys before, I love a challenge. Let it be known that I attempted one of those videos voiceover speed builds and like literally filmed the entire thing was so happy with the finished product and then realized that I never added my microphone as a source so here I am doing a regular old-fashioned voiceover with no video it's okay guys we're still learning we're still getting back into the swing of things next speed build I promise you will see my beautiful face again but anyway this is the building blocks Shell Challenge by Bethla Simmer, and as you can see, it is very much so building block-esque. I really ran with the whole theme of building blocks and decided to do a daycare center. So what you are seeing is the beautiful creation of Crazy Tots Daycare Center. And I basically used every color of the rainbow, I would say, but the buildings themselves, for those of you who are artists or just have a lot of knowledge about color itself are made out of the main primary colors which are red yellow and blue as I said like as soon as I heard that it was Beth's building blocks I just like really ran with the idea and could only really think of sims for toddlers and how we really don't have a lot with them I was feeling nostalgic with sims 3 I had recently rebought it and like played with it and totally forgot that there was like a whole daycare career where babies and toddlers can go over to your sims house and like you would babysit them but like to a daycare extreme so I wanted to give us that kind of feel in The Sims 4. So using two out of the four different shells that Beth had built, I decided to take two of them and come up with this beautiful daycare center. Now I know when it comes to shell challenges, you typically focus on the shell itself. I still put 
put things on the inside of the shell, but I really wanted to kind of test my exterior landscaping skills. And being that it was a daycare, I have this saved in pretty much beautiful weather right now. And being that we've had beautiful weather in New Jersey lately, I just really wanted something that was outdoorsy and kind of summer camp inspired. So what you're seeing is the outdoor play area come to life. It kind of goes along with kinesthetic learning, which is the learning behavior that is mostly physical activity. So I basically used everything I can think of from the toddler stuff pack, kids room stuff pack, and base game and backyard stuff, being that backyard stuff is meant for the outdoors and also just a very vibrant, colorful pack. I also really wanted to put my terrain painting to the test because I feel like that's something that I struggle with but I've been trying to improve and I've taken a lot of inspiration from Beth herself who I feel like is the queen of landscaping. I mean, this girl can landscape for days. She loves debug. So I was like, I'm gonna use debug. I'm gonna landscape the crap out of this build and we're just gonna roll with it. So that's what I did. And Beth, if you're watching, I hope you're proud of me. I hope this does your builds justice. I mean, it definitely doesn't top your builds, but I hope the landscaping, at least, you can see my efforts are there. So I built this like beautiful big sandbox because I feel like as a kid, especially at my elementary schools and everything, it was just like a giant sandbox with playground equipment. So I kind of took inspiration from that. I used debug to get dolls to bring the playhouse to life and the backyard stuff, flower rug things are like the perfect thing to put outside, especially like if we're thinking God forbid there's a storm, God forbid there's like bad weather. It's probably waterproof, right? Cause it's meant for the backyard. And I was really happy with the flower job. I used a lot of flowers from Romantic Garden. I used the wild flowers from Outdoor Retreat because I, I don't know, they are just the perfect filler type of flowers. They're also very colorful. And of course you can't, Build something in The Sims and just completely ignore the fact that the base game exists. The base game comes with a lot of really nice flowers and a lot of color variations as well. So of course, I built this cute little corner where the idea was, you know, parents are coming to pick up their kids at the end of the day. They can like sit there and wait for their kids or even just the teachers and daycare workers themselves can come to this little corner kind of away from all of the playground equipment and just kind of enjoy like a lunch or just you know wait for their kids at the end of the day so i kind of surrounded it with more plants and flowers just again to bring in more nature and the idea of outdoor play and just again that color feeling. Uh, this is definitely somebody with severe allergies worst nightmare. Like you got hay fever, I would not recommend chilling in this corner and eating lunch. Like you were just surrounded by plants and grass and everything that you're probably allergic to because I can relate. I am allergic to every type of grass and every tree, like just the outdoors, I step outside and instant allergies, you know, <laughs> just instant. So uh, I wouldn't recommend if you have bad allergies, but otherwise, you know, I would, I would suffer through it to be honest, because I love nature and I just thought it was a really pretty corner. And now we're getting to the inside of the build where basically, God forbid it did rain and storm. I mean, I wouldn't recommend bringing your kid on a day where it's like rainy and gloomy, but if you had to, these buildings are very, very small. I tried to put a staircase in, it didn't work out, so instead I went with ladders. I originally wanted this to be like a classroom type of feel on the inside, but there was just, there was no space for it. So instead I figured the bottom floor could be meant for like a little reading learning type of center and the ladders yeah forget it like the placement of the ladders is just crazy so they're like in the center of the room they're like on weird angles it's just 
unfortunately how it has to be, but I still made it work. I squeezed everything in. I have no clue if this is play tested. I didn't play test it myself, so I don't know if like it's movable for Sims. I hope so. But the idea is that the kids can come in here, sit on the cute little colorful cushions and listen to the teacher reading in her comfy rocking chair surrounded by just kid-friendly decor. It's again just very colorful, random, and I guess I would also describe it as eccentric just because there's just a lot going on. The second floor, as you guys will see, is kind of the teacher's main hub to kind of like away from the kids because I don't think toddlers can climb ladders. I've never tested it myself but I really don't think it's possible. I mean, just imagine a tiny little toddler climbing a ladder, like that screams danger to me, so I would not recommend. But the teacher can go up to the second floor and kind of just do her paperwork, you know, answer parent emails and concerns and take attendance up there, you know, keep track of all the students and their needs and anything like that up in that little second floor. So that's what you're gonna see come to life here. I still kind of made it very kid friendly nonetheless because at the end of the day, it's still a daycare center and it's not just gonna turn like boring corporate white walls, tile flooring right off the bat. Like I still had to make it fun and kid friendly. The third level, which you guys will see is mainly just like a storage hub where you know, they can store any extra items that they might need, God forbid, like a toilet breaks or, you know, something's wrong with one of the height chairs, they can go grab it. And of course, weather permitting, there is a pool as well, just in case it's nice weather, it's hot out, and they want to do some splishy splashies. The second building, as you guys will see, is basically for the children's needs. So if they need to use the potty, they can use the potty. That's where they go to eat their little snack time, lunch time, whatever you want to call it. And I personally was deprived of nap time in my preschool. I didn't go to any sort of daycare or summer camps when I was a little, little girl, but I never got a nap time, a proper nap time at school where I feel like everybody else did. Like, what's what's up with that? I, I mean, I went to a Catholic preschool. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know what the Catholics would have against nap time, but I don't know. I'm sure it's not like a Catholic thing. I think it was just like, because I only went for a certain amount of time in the day. There's no point in having a nap time if I was like a half day type of student. But still, I mean, <laughs> I missed out on nap time. So, you know, Know what I'm not gonna let happen my little sim toddlers they're gonna get nap time so don't worry I got you guys covered I originally was gonna make it just another indoor play area with their needs but then I was like no toddlers get tired and when toddlers and the sims get tired they get cranky so therefore I put some beds in this little room for you guys to let them take naps and for privacy purposes put up a half wall so that you can potty train to your heart's content and the kids don't have to get embarrassed although again they're toddlers do they even feel embarrassment i don't think so and again just very colorful random items like nothing is everything's mismatched just to kind of you know bring that kid friendly feeling and this second level i figured sometimes parents are late picking up their kids or something comes up so in case the teacher ever needed to stay overnight to do some work she has like a little apartment and by little apartment i mean literally it is just a square with as many essential items a sim would need a sim adult so i hope you guys enjoyed this speed build enjoy the screenshots that you guys are also about to see and hopefully i can do a video voiceover next time thanks for watching